Hello and welcome all. I am Khanam and this is my 16th video in React series. Okay, in our previous video we have seen about import and export, how we have to import and how we have to export and each particular component will be having only one default export and rest all functions and variables we are exporting using this curly braces and also while importing we are just wrapping that inside curly braces and only the default export will be having the normal name. Okay, we can call this either using this custom element or also using the function if it is function. We have this variables here and we are just wrapping that inside curly braces because it is JavaScript. This all we have learnt in our previous tutorial. Now in this tutorial we are going to see a practice example on this. Okay, about import and export. From here I am just going to delete entire thing and also from this file I am just going to delete this entire thing. I will save this and also I will just save this. Now inside index.js you can see I have already rendered this app component. I will just remove this h1. Okay, I am just importing this app inside my index.js. I have rendered this app component here. I will just close this one and also I will be closing this. Now inside app.js I have imported that inside index.js. So I have to export this app.js. First I will be writing this import react from react. I will just define, I will just uh, declare one function app and inside this function I will just use here fat arrow function. This function is going to return something and inside this function I will just write here practice, practice program 4. I will just close this using semicolon and also I will just export this one, export default, each component will be having one default export. So for this I will be using only one function that is app, so I will just export default, I will just do this export default and my function name that is app, I will save this. Now if I just refresh this one, you can see I will be having the output practice program 4. Now here inside my import export.js file, first I will be importing react import react from react okay so that i can use jsx elements now here i'll just create one function i'll give my function name as favorite i'll just give in capital favorite i'll be using fat arrow function here so to use fat arrow function we have to write here equal to sign and inside this function i just want to return i'll be returning one h1 and here i'll just give here my favorite color my favorite color is black ok now I have created one function now to use this function I have to export this one here each component will be having one default export I will just write here export default I will just copy this function and here I will be writing this one ok while exporting we do not have to write this parenthesis I will just export in normal way export default and favorite I will just copy this one I will just save this now inside app.js I want to import that one because I want to use that function here so I will be importing that one import favorite from I will just come inside my components folder I will be writing here I am not getting suggestion so I will just type here components and inside this folder I have this import export I will just write that one import export file import export I will save this and now I will just copy this one and here I will just create as a custom element I will paste that one I will be closing this custom element I will just close this custom element like this and here I will just remove this entire thing I will save this now if I just refresh this one ok I am getting an error did you want JSX elements ok I have to wrap because here I am using two JSX element so I will just wrap inside this inside my syntactic sugar form I will be wrapping like this I will save this now if I just refresh this you can see I will be getting the output my favorite color is black ok this output this component whatever element I am having inside this I am having this data so that data I am getting as my output ok I have done only one export and that is the default one and I have just imported this favorite inside my app.js and here I am just rendering here I am just importing that one and here I am just creating the custom element of that and here I am using this ok now here I will just create one variable creating one variable const I will give my variable name as name1 inside this I will just pass my name khanam 
now to use this one to use this variable i have to export that one now below this i'll just export now inside curly braces i have to write this name okay whatever variable name i am having i have to write like this now while importing i'll just copy this one while importing i'll just separate it with comma and i'll just paste that one okay uh, this is not default so we have to wrap inside curly braces now here i'll just write h1 and here i'll be using template literals i'll just open curly braces open back tick close back tick and close curly braces now inside this i'll be writing my name is to use this variables we have dollar symbol and we have to write this name one i'll save this whatever variable name i'm having here i'm just writing that one here now if i just refresh you can see i'm having this output my name is khanam that i have just created one function i have imported that function i have created one variable i have imported that one now in the same way i'll just create one more variable i'll just give here subject i'll be giving react js okay now i have to export that one i'll just separate it with comma and whatever variable name i'm having i'll just paste that one here i'll save this and also while importing i just have to separate it comma i'll just paste that one and in and here inside the same h1 i'll be writing that one my name is khanam and and this is i'll just write dollar symbol i'll be writing this subject name series i'll save this now if i show you you can see my name is khanam and this is react js series that variable whatever i have created here that i have exported that one and here i am importing that one in curly braces and here i am just getting the data of that particular variable now i'll just create one more function and inside this we will see how to pass arguments here i'll just create function i'll be giving my function name as my function okay, you can give any name only for an example now inside this i'll be passing two arguments first i'll just pass here data 1 and second i'll be passing data 2 now this function i'll just create one variable i'll give my variable name as complete data complete data is equal to whatever parameters i'm having data 1 plus or oh, instead of this i'll be using template literals i'll just write here my data 1 is inside dollar i'll just write here data 1 my data 1 is data 1 and and my data and my data 2 is inside i'll just write dollar symbol i'll just write here data 2 okay this is what i am passing inside this complete data this entire text will be stored now here i'll just return that one i'll just return this complete data whatever i am having complete data here i'll just explain this function and in okay i'm just creating one function my function inside this i'm passing two arguments data 1 and data 2 and inside this function i'm just creating one variable complete data and using template literal i'm just passing this my data 1 is this whatever value i'll be having here that will be printed here and my data 2 is whatever value i'm having at data 2 that will be printed here and i'm just returning this complete data this entire data after getting this data 1 and data 2 this complete data i am returning inside this function okay now to export this function to use this function we have to export this one and here i'll just paste that function now i want to use this function inside my app.js so i have to import that one i'll just write this function name i have to separate using comma and whatever export functions and export variables we are having we just have to enclose in curly braces if they are not default okay my default should not be wrapped inside curly braces and also while exporting this should not wrapped inside curly braces okay while importing also it should not be wrapped inside curly braces and i can create custom element or also i can call the function now here for this i'll just call the function here inside curly braces i'll just call that function my function and this function is taking two arguments data1 and data2 for data1 i'll just give one value i'll be giving here binary and here i'll just give here ternary i'll save this now if i just refresh you can see i'll be getting the output my data1 is binary and my data2 is ternary okay this is how we are going to get the output of our normal function okay this is my heading okay this is the normal function output this is my first variable output my second variable output and this is the function which is having the arguments and i'm just passing the data and i'm just getting this binary and ternary as my output in place of 
I'll just show you in place of this data one binary will be stored in place of data two ternary will be stored because while calling the function I'm passing this data here binary and ternary now this function will be called and here I'll be getting this output and this function whatever output I'm getting that I'm returning here I'm just exporting that one now while in importing I'll be getting all the data here uh, I hope you understood this import and export and how to use this import and export in projects and also we are going to implement more on import and export in our projects when we are going to do advanced level project. So as a beginner and at a beginner level this is more than enough about import and export. If you practice this one you will understand in more better way how to import and how to export and where we have to use curly braces and where we have to not use curly braces. Once you practice this then you will understand this one. Okay, That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.